Hello, greetings everyone. Uh, today we are going to be tapping on one of my favorite subjects, which is creativity, and I decided to film in a little bit of a different location. I'm outside. Um, it is very hot where I am, uh, and that's Los Angeles, which means that there is often not a season. This is unfortunately usually the weather, but it is beautiful outside. Um, and so today we're going to be focusing on creativity and the outdoors and nature is one of my biggest points of inspiration around creativity. Um, and, you know, it's something that I feel like in this current day and age, people are looking more and more into how to tap into um, that part of ourselves. So whether you have something that you are working on that is creative or just in general you're wanting to open yourself up more to creativity um, I think creativity is our life force it is the thing that ironically as we get older we need more of <laughs> it's like we have endless and boundless amounts of it as a kid and as we get older we kind of push that to the side um, to take care of our responsibilities as an adult um, and yet it's the thing that we probably need more than anything um, to keep us thriving, to keep us connected to ourselves so we can actually show up in the world as we want to show up as ourselves. So again, you don't have to have something you're working on. This can just be a general, like, I want to be more open to my creativity. And if you're new to tapping, you can check out some of my earlier videos. Um, I just did a, a recent, a new intro video to EFT, so you can go and check that out. But um, you don't have to know anything about EFT. We're gonna be tapping on different parts of our body to really stress and to reprogram ourselves. Um, and I am going to repeat phrases out loud. If they resonate for you, fantastic. If they don't, please use your words. Tapping is always done best when it is your words, your experience, your intuition. So. Go ahead and just take a quick moment and tune into, again, if you have something that you are working on that you are maybe feeling blocked, um, you're not feeling connected to, you can bring that into your conscious awareness, into this moment. Or if you're just, you know, thinking about creativity in general, just bring that into your awareness and just notice what's happening to your body. Notice if there are sensations, if there's emotions that you are experiencing in different parts of your body and you don't have to analyze why they're there or what it is, just notice it. And go ahead and give that on a scale of one to 10, one being like, I don't feel anything at all, 10 being through the roof. Obviously I don't have a roof today, but you can imagine it. And then you can go ahead and start tapping on the side of the hand and repeating after me out loud or in your mind. Again, if what I say doesn't resonate, please use your words. Even though I have all this creativity that I want to express, but maybe I'm feeling fearful or blocked. I acknowledge how I feel and I'm open to releasing some of this block and this fear today. Even though sometimes being creative can feel overwhelming, sometimes I don't know where to start Sometimes I just don't even feel inspired. I acknowledge my full experience, all the things I might be feeling and thinking. And I'm open to loving myself exactly as I am. And last time on the side of the hand, even though I have all this creativity that is inside of me, Maybe I have ideas, visions that I want to bring to life, but just feel too afraid or too blocked to do so. I acknowledge myself and my experience exactly as I am, and I'm open to freeing myself up to allow more creativity to flow through me today. And you can go ahead and tap on that eyebrow point. I feel like I have all this creativity. But sometimes, or a lot of times, I feel blocked. Maybe I have thoughts or ideas or visions that I want to bring to life.
but something inside me doesn't feel safe to do so. Or doesn't feel inspired to do so. Maybe I can fall into the perfectionist trap of it needing to be perfect. Or maybe I'm just really scared for people to see that part of me. Maybe I'm scared to see that part of me. Because maybe I have experiences from the past or even the present that tell me there's no room for creativity. That creativity is a waste of time. Maybe I'm afraid that my creativity will take away from my adult responsibilities. Maybe I don't think that I have time for creativity because I have so many responsibilities. And I'm just acknowledging all of the voices of fear, all of these blocks that seem to just pop up anytime I try to be creative or even approach the subject of creativity. Because maybe I'm just trying to keep myself safe. Because maybe it hasn't felt safe in the past or in the present to bring my creativity to life. Or to make time for myself in that way. Maybe being creati creative feels indulgent or selfish. When there might be a lot of other things that I have going on in my life. But yeah, here I am, watching this tapping video. Because something inside me wants to express itself. There's a part of me, a piece of me, that knows connecting to my creativity will be fulfilling. And I can begin to release the grip I have around my ideas, my control of how I think my creativity should look. Because the truth is, we are just vessels. I am a vessel. It is not my creativity. I am a vessel for creativity to flow through me, to flow to me. Which means that there is a never ending source of it. It also means that I can relax a little bit instead of thinking that I have to come up with creativity or I have to be unique. The fact that I am a vessel is unique enough. And whatever I express will be unique to me Because there is only one me. There is only one way that I can express this that no one else can. And there's a part of me that gets really happy about that. And I can just release the fear. I can acknowledge any blocks and I can also release them. Giving a voice to my blocks and my fear does not 
emphasize or cement them in even deeper. It just lets them be seen and then lets them be released. So I'm releasing the idea that I'm not creative or that I'm blocked. And affirming that I'm a magnificent creative creature. And that it's safe for me to express myself in whatever way that feels resonant for me. And I can release the control of how I think it should look and choose to find fulfillment in the creation itself. No matter how big or how small it is. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that I'm allowing myself to connect to this part of me that is so vital and so important, not just for my own fulfillment, but for the world, because the world needs my art. And so I'm opening myself up to create that. Go ahead and take a deep breath in here and release. And, you know, if you have a lot of things creatively that you are working on, you can rinse and repeat and do this as often as you need to. Um, and just know that there's an, you are a, a vessel. There's an endless source of creativity out there and it is safe for you. It's safe for you to make time for creativity, whatever that means, and know that it's feeding you. It's feeding a part of you that probably a lot of other things can't actually do. It's probably gonna be one of those itches that only creativity can scratch. So go ahead and scratch that itch and yeah, go and create. The world will really appreciate it.